Hello everybody, welcome back to the video. In today's video, I'm going to go over the Cadillac Flashback for the Extravaganza 2010 event on Roblox. So yeah, let's just start in. So this is a, basically a series where I go over a past catalog update or event that I think was pretty interesting and it's nice to go over. And I decided to go over them because it's nice to go over things in the past for nostalgia's sake and it's just nice to look over some highlights that might have happened for many of us on Roblox. And I already went over the 2008 Extravaganza events so and I'm going to go over the 2010 one. And they're pretty similar in a lot of ways but they're also different in a lot of ways. They share similarities as they were both events that the eggs dropped at specific times, so you had to be in a game at a specific time and the eggs would fall. It wasn't like more recent ones where they would be in one specific game and you had to go get them in that area. For these, they dropped in all servers, but there were a lot of events that happened during this egg hunt that make it pretty unique. Firstly, the egg hunt released as normal on April 2nd, 2010, but the servers got overloaded due to a high number of players and they had to stop the egg hunt early, so after two days, the egg hunt ended and they said they would postpone it to a later date which they did eventually postpone it to July where the servers were much better and people were able to get eggs again and they had a bunch of eggs during the April one but as a little thank you they added a few more during the July update as well so I'm gonna split this catalog flashback up into two parts as there are definitely a lot of things to go over and I'm gonna go over the regular April drop of eggs first and then the second part I'll go over the July drop of eggs and the contest they had at the time so there were also a lot of different interesting cases for instance you can only get every Every egg if you had this egg basket item and this is given for free to every builders club member and as builders club isn't here anymore you can't really get this but I had builders club before and I got this for free and if you got builders club and you had this item you were able to get every egg in the events if you wanted to but unfortunately if you did not have builders club you were only able to get three eggs they later did increase it to six but still that's kind of unfortunate that if you did not have builders club and you didn't have this item you were not able to get every egg from this event so you had to be pretty picky to only get the rare ones if you really wanted them and they did also release an item as a kind of like a sorry we had to cancel this event early here's an item in the meantime that you can get for free while you wait for the event to come back and they release this golden egg beaters necklace i think it looks pretty nice we got around 35,000 owners which is not that much but for the time that was a pretty high amount so now let's get on to the actual eggs of the event the first one is rusty egg of magnetism and this one's currently off sale not available but like many of the other egg hunts some of the eggs from this event went limited the majority of them did as this one is one of the older ones so they had definitely a lot of time to actually become limited but this is one of the ones that actually stayed off sale. This one, it just spawned in a game and you just had to touch it. It was pretty simple and this is one of the more common ones from this event. But it looks okay. It definitely doesn't look as great as many of the other eggs, which is probably why it did not end up going limited. Next up is the chroma egg of the speeding bullet. This one's pretty cool. It's kind of like this white silvery one. And in order to get this one, you had to chase it in game. So once it spawned, it would run away from you and you had to chase it. So a good strategy was probably backing it up into a wall so that you can get it from there. And this one ended up going limited and it's selling for around 1,700 right now, which is pretty good for free item and you can see that a lot of the eggs that ended up being limited are selling for around this price as well. And next up is the shiny gold egg of switcheroo. This one's pretty cool. It's a nice little golden egg. It has a nice texture on it. Unfortunately, this one did not go limited so you can't really get it anymore but it was a nice one to have gotten at the time. In order to have gotten this one, you had to touch it before it teleported away off the map. So another pretty simple one just touching it but they did add that challenge of it teleporting to random places. And next up we have pow to the moon egg. This one also went limited just like the chrome one. This one is not doing as well 1200 compared to the 1700 so this one was most likely easier to get than the other one and that also makes sense due to its objective as you just had to touch it once again similar to the rusty egg this one had a cool effect that it shot you into the air once you touched it and now next up is agonizingly ugly egg of screen splat this one is doing probably the worst out of any egg most likely due to how it looks as it does have ugly in the name and it has a lot of different random patterns on it which probably doesn't look the most appealing and it might be hard to match different hats with this one as well but it's selling for about 1000 right now and it has stayed at around that price for years now and it had a similar objective to the moon one as you just had to touch it but it had a nice little gimmick with it that it would splat your screen with eggs once you touched it so it's still pretty easy but you were still able to make a nice profit if you did have it now next up is unassuming egg of shyness this one's not available right now but it was a nice collectible if you're able to get it, it kind of looks like mummy wrappings to me almost so i think it looks pretty nice you could definitely make some nice outfits with this one and this one had the same objective as the crow one as you just had to chase it in order to actually get it and i do want to point out that a lot of these off-sale ones you can't really find too much anymore. It has been 12 years since this event, so it's definitely been a long time. Many of the people that got these eggs younger are probably grown up now, so they probably don't play Roblox anymore, so definitely finding these eggs that are off-sale is definitely a rare chance. And next up, we have Egg of Egonox Day and Egg of Egonox Night. So these are pretty similar. The one has the moon on it and one has the sun on it, and they basically have the same objective, but obviously one was for day and one was for night. You had to go into a game that had a night script or a day script, and whenever it was daytime, 
nighttime in that game, this one would spawn. And whenever it was nighttime in that game, the night one would spawn. And they both ended up going limited. This one is doing a bit lower than the night one, similar to the price of the moon egg, around 1,200, but it has gone up a bit over time. And holding onto any of these will definitely make you some money over time as these eggs are getting increasingly rarer. And this egg is sitting at around 2,000, which is the highest we've seen for these eggs so far. So that's pretty good. It definitely balances up and down in price over time and has a lower average price. So it probably won't sell for this high. As you can see, it has a pretty big gap. So this is definitely probably one of the rarer ones of this event. And next up over here, we have Specular Egg of Red No Blue. This one's a pretty interesting one, kind of like a black egg, but has some red splotches all over the place. And when this egg spawned in game, it would kind of flash between red and blue. You had to touch it when it was red. And if it was blue, it would kill you and it would disappear. So you had to touch it when it was red only. And the name kind of hints that as well. This one did end up going limited, sitting around 1,200, just like the others. So nothing too special, but it's still a nice one if you were able to get it. And next up, we have Vicious Egg of Singularity. This one's a pretty cool one, kind of gives you that electric radiation kind of look, which I think has a lot of potential to match with different items. Because a lot of different items have that kind of hazard yellow black color combination. This one's sitting at around 1,300, so similar in price to the other ones, but it has a bigger jump than them, so it has more of a chance to go higher over time. And this egg went into the air, and you had to touch it when it was in the air. If it was on the ground, you would not be able to get it, as it had smoke around it and you were not able to touch it. But once it went into the air, you were able to collect it. Now next up over here, we've seen Egg of the Clouds. This one kind of has a similar style to Vicious Egg, that kind of paint splatter kind of look, but this one's white and blue. It looks pretty nice. It's doing pretty well, almost 2,000, and has a pretty big gap as well. And you can only collect this egg when it was pretty high up in the air. So you had to have like a structure in the game that you were able to climb up, go to a high height, and then you were able to collect the egg. So definitely one that had another objective that made it rarer than most of the other eggs. Next up over here, we have Explosive Egg of Kaboom. This one's pretty interesting. It's kind of this red egg with the black splotches all over it. So definitely not the best look, but I think it still looks pretty interesting. Sitting at around 1,300, like the most of the other ones. And you had to collect this egg before it exploded. So pretty simple objective. And a lot of the names hint to what their objectives were. So that would have definitely helped if you were looking for these eggs. Now for the last regular egg of this April batch, we have Radioactive Egg of Undead Apocalypse. This one also went limited to sitting around 2,000. So this is one of the higher ones in price. It looks pretty cool. It's a slime green kind of color, which is definitely pretty appealing. I could definitely make some myself into this one. And when this egg spawned in games, it would spawn zombies around it, and you had to avoid the zombies in order to actually get the egg. So definitely a pretty tough objective, which probably increases its price right now as not many people own it. It's definitely one of the creative ones that they did add. And for the last three right over here, we do have the Fabergé eggs of this event. We have the red one, green one, and the blue one. The green one is the only one that is currently off sale, so you cannot get this one. You can still get the red and blue one. And these Fabergé eggs only dropped in servers that were full. So basically, if a server had 24 maximum players and there were 24 people in that server, you were able to see these spawn. They were very rare spawns, so it's pretty difficult to find them. But they still look pretty nice. They sit on top of the head instead of on the head, like almost the other eggs. They kind of have this regal design to them. And this one did end up going limited. It's sitting at around 2,000, which is pretty similar in price to some of the regular eggs. So even if they were just rare drops, some of the more difficult objectives end up being the same price as these, which is pretty interesting. And same with the blue one, around 2000 price, but they both have definitely big gaps, so they can definitely increase in price pretty soon. So yeah, that is part one of this catalog flashback for Egg Shuffle Guns 2010. This was a pretty fun event, and I'll be going over the rest of it in part two, which will come out very soon. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!